Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live video. And I'm just out here double checking that I am live out on my page where I want to be and getting things set up so that hopefully I can see your comments coming in. If you are joining the live, feel free to say uh, hello. And if you're watching the replay, feel free to say hello as well. Um, so no problem if you aren't catching the live. I know it's a real busy day today for everybody trying to get ready for the, the Christmas holidays tomorrow. So... Um, but I thought I'd hop on. Hey, Nancy, glad you're joining us today. I thought I'd hop on um, to say hello anyway, in case some of you were able to, to join me. And um, so, oh, I see that looks like Karen's here and Christine is saying Merry Christmas from Minnesota. Merry Christmas to you too. And I see Tracy's here. So, um, oh, Karen is taking a break and uh, from cleaning fish. Ew. That sounds like a nasty thing. <laughs> so, but glad y'all, and I see Nancy's here as well. Uh, Nancy, and I see Patricia. Hello, and Merry Christmas to everybody. And again, thanks for hopping in today. I know on a busy day, but I thought I would pop in for anybody who is, you know, hanging out at the house and wanting to um, get a little uh, stamping in. I thought I'd hop in and show you something new and fun that I made today. Now, I did share the details for this on my blog already, um, so I shared it on my blog post this morning as far as the cardstock cuts and everything, and I'll try to remember to say them as we go along, but if not, um, they're all out on my um, blog post already this morning. Hey, Karen, thanks, and Merry Christmas to you as well. So, all right, so let's get going here, and um, I wanted to show you this. I know it doesn't show up very well in the pictures, and I'm hoping the video catches it a little bit better. Um, I put a little of the uh, Wink of Stella glitter over the the wings of the bees and so there's a little shimmer on them which is like I said it's so hard to get a, a good photograph of it but it's so pretty in person so um anyway so that I just wanted to show you that little sparkle um before I got going on the card today so um, so this is the Honey Bee stamp set, and this will be available uh, beginning on January 3rd for customers to order, and it is bundled together with the detailed bees dies, and I used both of these on the card today. Um, so, yep, it'll be available January 3rd, and it's in the new January to June uh, 2020 mini catalog that hopefully you all have in your hands and if you don't and you need a copy of it um, let me know drop me a note with your mailing address and I will be happy to, to get the catalogs mailed out to you so that you have them before January 3rd starts so um, so again this is the stamp set um, die set and we're gonna do a little playing with that today all right, so first things first, um, this is actually a new celebration paper. I love that stamp set too, Karen. It's a really, it's a good one. One of my favorite ones from the catalog. So that'll be one that you'll kind of have to stop me from using it 59 times. So, all right, so first things first, we've got a little bit of the Golden Honey Designer Series paper, and this is actually a celebration item. So this is something that you can get for free with an order of $50 or greater starting on uh, January 3rd, again, during celebration. So Nancy's saying that she she loves this paper and the stamp set. Yep, they definitely, it's a really nice. So the cool thing about this paper is it actually, on one side of it has gold foiling on it. So now, of course, today we're not using the gold foiling side up. We're just using the standard black and white side up. Um, but it is a cool, it's, a, it's an awesome pack of paper. So definitely you're going to want to put that on your list of things. So, and definitely yay that it's free. I agree, <laughs> Nancy. So I've got this cut to, um, the designer paper is cut to three and seven eighths by uh, five and one eighth. And we're gonna adhere it with snail to a panel of basic black cardstock, which is cut to four by five and a quarter. And hopefully I'll get these lined up. Um, it's a little hard. I don't know what those black lines make it a little hard for me on the, on the ends to just figure out where the middle of it is, but hopefully I got it right in the right spot. So, all right, so we've got that ready to go. And I went ahead and um, pre-cut and stamped and colored a couple of the bees because I figured you didn't need to sit and watch me color all four of those. So, um, but I did save one so that we could do it here on screen. I've stamped it in Tuxedo Black Memento ink on Whisper White cardstock. And then I used the Light and Dark Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends to color it. Hey, Debbie, thanks for hopping in and Merry Christmas to you as well. Um, so I just colored over the bee body with the... Stampin' Blends markers. And again, I use Tuxedo Black Memento um, because it's designed to be used with alcohol markers so it won't bleed and that sort of thing. Um, if you do have trouble with it bleeding at all when you're using it, it's probably because it's not dried all the way. So make sure that you um, are letting it dry before you start trying to color it. So, all right, so went in with a little bit of light, uh, definitely 
the light Stampin' Blends and um, colored the body first and then added a little bit of dark around the edge and then kind of went back and, and blended the body together a little bit. Hopefully you can see that on there. And then I'm going to add a little Wink of Stella over the wings. And, oh, yeah, okay. My Wink of Stella, the cap is kind of a little broken. <laughs> and I haven't, I need to get a new one, but I haven't yet. Um, sometimes the little interior piece of the cap comes out stuck on the top of the the brush part, but it's, you can still use it. It just isn't quite supposed to work like that, but that's okay. Um, it still works for me. So, all right, just adding a little bit of Wink of Stella over the wings to add just a little shimmer to it. Um, and again, it's really pretty in person. Hopefully you can see some of it on the, on the video. Okay, we're gonna set that little bee aside and uh, let the wings dry for a second while we do a little bit of stamping. We've got some Daffodil Delight cardstock and we are gonna stamp with Versamark ink and I used the um, sentiment. Never thought of using Wink of Stella on the wings. Oh man, it's really, it adds just a nice little shimmer to it on the wings. It's really, it's very pretty. So, um, so I used the Thinking of You Sweet Friend um, stamp from the Honey Bee stamp set and we're gonna stamp it in Versamark ink on um, Daffodil Delight cardstock. All right, up and down. And then we're gonna use a little bit of white Stampin' Emboss powder, which I nearly dumped all over the place. Yikes. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me to have to clean that mess up. Hopefully I won't do it now that I uh, said I almost did it. How about we close that up and we put the lid on it. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that'll be safe. <laughs> So, all right, we're going to do a little heat embossing, so this is going to be a little loud for a second. Karen says she used vellum paper, thinking it would make them look like actual wings, which it does. I'm sure that it does. So, um, But the shimmer, you know, it's just a little, a little something different, a little different look. So I'm going to use the um, heat tool on the level 2 setting to heat the image and emboss it, so it's going to make a little racket for a second. And hopefully you can see it on the screen as it starts to turn. So it'll start to turn a bright white, and that means that it's actually embossing it. Right. And you definitely don't want to overheat it. You can burn embossing powder. Um, I'm, I've done it before, so yep, you can. So, All right, so we've got that embossed on here. And then I cut the image out with actually one of the... Um, Oh, the name of it is the All Dressed Up Dies. I knew I was going to forget it. <laughs> so um, so this is a huge set of dies, which is also from the upcoming catalog. It's bundled together with the Dress to Impress stamp set, which is a really cute one. has some good images in it um, for the you know anybody who's kind of fancy in your life. So um, some good images and the, a bunch of the dies in here coordinate with the, the shoe, the flowers, the perfume, the lipstick. Um, there are some good ones for sentiments, and we're actually using the sentiment one today, this one. And then, hey, Mary, thanks for hopping on, and happy holidays to you, too. Um, but this die set is especially cool because it cuts out little purses. So they're very cute. Um, so I, at some point, I'm sure that I will be making one of those in a live video. But, but um, just so you know, that's what this big die is. It actually cuts out a purse. You cut it out twice, glue it together on the sides and the bottoms, and then here's the little strap for the purse, and then you're all set. So, all right, um, there are buckles and buttons for the purse, too. So it's very, very, very cute. So I definitely need to to um, use that at some point on a video. So I used, because this is perfect size for the sentiment, perfect size that I wanted on here, um, I used that to cut out the sentiment. So I'm gonna scooch over here for one second and um, die cut this while you all are uh, watching a whole lot of nothing on the screen. So one thing while I'm die cutting this, just wanted to remind you that I'm also offering um, designer series paper shares from the upcoming catalog so if you're interested in those the details are out of my blog um so feel free to stop out there and uh i said oh barbara's here too merry christmas if i haven't said that already and hey to akiko thanks for joining ladies so i've got designer series paper shares posted out of my blog as well so if you want to get some of the designer series paper from the um, upcoming catalog you can definitely get a very nice sampling, a good working sample of it um, in a designer paper share. So go check out the details out on my blog and um, let me know if you have questions about it, if you want to join in. So, all right, so to stick the bees down, basically, I just started with the top one, which right or wrong, I'm not entirely sure, but I started with the top bee, used Stampin' Dimensionals, and basically just tried to line it up fairly straight 
and hopefully I got it close to the same spot that I got them in earlier <laughs> when I put this together the first time. And then um, I just sort of lined them up in a row, um, not really any specific spacing. I just, I kind of had laid them out beforehand so I knew um, that they were going to fit on here. Uh, and hopefully I'll get them to fit similarly. <laughs> That's always my fear when I get on here. I start talking and then I start sticking things down in the wrong spot and it looks all kinds of crazy. Um, but hopefully I'm getting them close to the to the way that they were on the original card. But I basically was just kind of lining up their little antlers with the f an antlers. Oh goodness, antennas is what I'm trying to say <laughs> with the feet of the bee right above it. And then the bottom one I just lined up again in the same row. And, oh, and Nancy says something is buzzing. <laughs> it definitely is. Hopefully it's not your cookies burning in the oven. <laughs> so, all right. So we got the little bees stuck in a row on here. And um, speaking of cookies in the oven, hopefully you all are getting your baking done. My daughter and I actually did some baking from scratch, which is not sort of my normal thing to do, but we did some of that over the weekend. So she was all excited. And no, nothing too terribly difficult. It was just um, some cookies but you know I was feeling all all ambitious and feeling like we were you know really getting into the holiday spirit when we, <laughs> we were doing a little baking over the weekend so all right so we got our sentiment I adhered that on again with Stampin' Dimensionals um, and then I used one of the rhinestone basic jewels uh, and I used the dark basic black uh, Stampin' Blends marker and just colored over the top of it to do um, to give it a little bit of a well I guess make it a little black rhinestone instead of just a plain clear one so I wanted that look for the sentiment so we got that and stick it on here next to the sentiment and then we're going to adhere this on to the card front Whoop. are you saying yay because I was doing some baking Karen <laughs> well sadly we had to go to the store to buy a few things because baking is just I haven't done baking in a number of years and um you know, stuff just sort of expires, you know, like baking soda and <laughs> that sort of thing. You have to sometimes just go out and uh, um, pick up some new stuff because the stuff you have doesn't always, uh, <laughs> doesn't always last as long as, um, well, as long as I need it to. So <laughs> uh, Karen says she's finally able to, to uh, show that you're watching on Facebook. Oh, man, sorry that you had trouble getting on. So Merry Christmas to you, too. So... Um, Karen's happy that I baked. The other Karen uh, is happy that I baked, which, like I said, we, you know, and they, they turned out well. We didn't burn anything, so that was a nice, <laughs> a nice little added bonus. So, all right, so that is basically the card front. We've got that all done. Now all we have left to do is decorate the inside. And again, I went ahead and pre-stamped these so that they'd have plenty of time to dry before we colored them. But they're stamped in Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and it's the same B um, that we stamped on the outside of the card. So, um yeah, yours doesn't have a chance to expire. Well, you know, when you bake like you do, then yeah, no, it doesn't have a chance to expire. But when it sits in the cupboard like mine does, um, yeah, then it does have a chance to expire. <laughs> so, um, but I'm trying, trying. So, but she really did most of the baking. She kind of took on the recipe and I made her um, write up the list of stuff so that when we went over to the grocery store, she knew exactly what we needed and she could go and uh, helped me pick everything out. So we did the grocery shopping over the weekend. And then on Sunday, she went busy, you know, it was all busy baking. So she had a good time doing it. And um, now we're having fun eating the cookies. So, all right. So we're just doing the same thing that we did on the uh, outside of the card with the bees and just coloring with light and dark Stampin' Blends. Adding just a little bit of color to the, to the bees. And I think this snail is just about to run out so we may have to grab another one here quick which yep it did run out I knew I was getting close to the end of it so thankfully I was prepared and had another one so um, I'm gonna bake more in New Jersey um, since on the cold days probably maybe I don't know we'll see <laughs> so usually the cold days t tend to make me want to stamp more not necessarily bake more but <laughs> we'll see all right so we're gonna go ahead and adhere this to the inside of the card all right, and then close it up and do a quick once over with a bone folder so that uh, we get a good solid crease on it. And that is my card share for today. So um, that's it. Hopefully you all like the card. Um, definitely, as far as I'm concerned, this is definitely a must get stamp set. I love it. Um, lots of good images in it. Great sentiments in it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. The dies with it make it awesome too. So um, 
it's it's a good 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 stamp set if you're interested in getting it a little early um talk to me about joining as a demonstrator if you join now it would make a very nice little christmas gift to yourself um you can join and uh be able to pre-order all these awesome things and uh get the the designer series paper as well so all right um, that is about all that I had for my card share today. I will plan to hop on again next week, Tuesday, around 1 o'clock uh, with another card. So thanks so much to everybody for joining. And um, uh, thanks for all the comments. Merry Christmas to you all as well. And uh, have a great rest of your day. And uh, take it easy. Have fun with your family and friends. Uh, do whatever you love to do over the Christmas time. Talk to you next week.